Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an amazing opening as Japan. First of all, you need to split up your starting army into two armies of 24 divisions and a third army of 12 divisions. Then assign them to a field marshal and give them some good generals. Now you should set up a naval invasion with the smaller army of 12 divisions. This naval invasion should have four divisions invading Qingdao and two separate naval invasions of three divisions each next to the port. Now you need to get to the Marco Polo bridge incident as fast as possible. For your research, put one on research speed, two on industry, and one on infantry equipment upgrades. Then build civilian factories in Japan. Then put 10 factories on infantry equipment and then 5 on everything else. Then put max dockyards on your ships. However, I'd recommend making close air support instead of carrier planes. Don't forget to trade to get rid of shortages. Next, you should combine your navy and set it to naval invasion support in the seas your naval invasion needs supremacy in. Put one army of 24 divisions on the Shangxi border and then put the other one on the border with China. Then move your air force into Manchuria and build a level 5 airport in Hebei. Now you're ready to start the game. You should also make an agency as soon as possible and get 5 separate spy upgrades for an extra spy slot. Use your spies to build a network in China and start making a collaboration as government in China as soon as you can. Once the level 5 airport in Hebei is finished, move your entire air force into it and put them on air superiority and close air support in northern China. You should hire the elusive gentleman so you can have three spies. Use your second spy to help the other build a spy network in China. Every time this network gets to 50%, start building a collaborationist government. Use your third spy to maintain the spy network in China while the other two build a collaboration government. After you finish the Marco Polo bridge incident, take Guy the Zybastus. Now activate your naval invasion and declare war on China. Also, you should check your decisions every once in a while to get the option to escalate the war in China. You should also call all of your puppets into the war. Now try to take Beijing by attacking from multiple directions and pinning reinforcements in the two provinces next to Beijing. Now you should be able to take Qingdao quickly, but move a division or two to the other port in case. Once you take one of the ports, assign the rest of your 12 division army to the front line of that port. Now try to secure the peninsula and Beijing. Take national mobilization law as your next focus. Also, don't forget to put your fleet into port so they don't take fuel away from your air force. Then build a level 5 airport in Qingdao. Once Beijing falls, you should be able to be much more aggressive in the north. Make it your goal to get any easy encirclements and link up Qingdao with the mainland. Also, begin attacking with your naval invasion as well, but be careful since you only have 12 divisions there. Don't forget that you can do multiple collaboration government operations to make China surrender quicker. Once you have a level 3 or more airport in Qingdao, move your air force down there to help with the peninsula offensive. Take national research policy as your next focus.
I'd recommend hiring the offense expert and the infantry expert. Take Battlefield Support and Grand Battle Plan doctrines. After escalating the war a few times, you will get the decision, Ichigo. This is necessary to take as soon as you can because it is very overpowered. Take Nationalize the War Industry next. Once you've connected your front lines, start training 24 divisions of your weaker infantry template. Once you've taken Ichigo, start being even more aggressive as most attacks should be successful. Also, deploy the 24 divisions as soon as they get mostly equipped and send them to the front lines. Have them cover what your naval invasion army is already covering. Now, draw your offensives across China and activate all of them except for the one in Shangxi. It's time for a Blitzkrieg. Make sure to have your air force supporting your offensives. As long as you continuously built up collaboration in China, they should capitulate within a year. Focus on supremacy of will for your focuses. After Nanjing falls, it should be a good time to start the Shanxi Offensive. You could probably beat them much faster than I did, but I went slow on purpose so the collaboration government would finish before China capitulates. After a little bit, I would recommend combining your frontline into a field marshal order to finish China off. You can do whatever you want in the peace deal, but I'd recommend fully annexing China, and if you want to pump it, just do it through a collaboration government instead. However, it does seem that directly owning the land is much better for your factory count. If this video worked, why not help me get monetized by subscribing and leaving a like?